welcome back to my channel so today i thought of doing some plastic wrap nails that i have been seeing um basically all over instagram and youtube and i wanted to try these out for myself because they look very cool and i like the um kind of design or pattern that you get from doing this kind of using this kind of technique so i'm just going to jump straight in and i put on some uh, top coat the one I'm using is this one. I just um, got this top coat off Amazon with a base and matte top coat because I wanted it for like experimenting and stuff. And then I'm using this, um, actually, I'm gonna use this plain dark blue polish and I'm just gonna add a drop of that into here to sort of create like a jelly kind of blue. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take my brush and I'm just going to mix that to create a kind of jelly kind of blue. Um, I think I'm going to add some more. So just keep adding and mixing until you are happy with the colour. And I will be working on my flexi hand today um, just because I already have nails on. If you're interested to see these nails, I've posted them on my Instagram at Nails by Camin. I'm just gonna like try to cover the whole nail with this kind of blue color. Don't make it too thick. Um, but you want it thick enough so that you can um, it can be smushed around, I guess, with the cling film or the plastic wrap. In the UK, we call it cling film, so. Um, plastic wrap it doesn't really matter I didn't have any um, cling film or any plastic wrap I have this kind of clear bag instead it's like a sandwich bag so I'm gonna try and use that instead see if it works with that I'm just going to place that onto the nail just like that and then I'm just gonna grab my cuticle pusher or you can just grab the end of a brush or I'm just going to use the end of my rinds of my um, wax pencil and I'm just going to kind of create these um, just lines I guess in the I'm just going to move the plastic film around so that it creates so when I cure it you can see the design on there I feel like I should have added a bit more um, but it's okay I'm just gonna I'm gonna do the others as well so I'll learn from this one if I make any mistakes so I'm just gonna try to push this up actually it's a bit difficult um, to do it on this because the finger is flexible so it's moving so I'm just gonna you could use your finger too it does work with your finger as well um, so I'm just going to cure that now and see what that looks like. Okay, so after I cured that, <clears throat> I'm just going to try to pull it off and see what it's like. Oh, that actually released really easy. Well, that looks really cool. I really like that. There are some pieces that are just um, lifted, so I'm just going to trim those really quick. Um, just because I feel like it will make filing easier. I'm just going to trim some of these chunky pieces off. Um, you can just file these away, but I feel like it will save me filing time if I just do it now. So I'm just going to quickly trim the excess stuff off. And also, if you want to see a review on this flexi hand, I have just uploaded a video on it, so do check that out. So this is what it looks like, and so far, I think it looks really cool. I really like how that looks. Now, the next step is to go in with a contrasting kind of colour. So I've just chosen this gold colour, um, but we'll see how that how that looks. So I'm just going to brush it on um, and see what that looks like. Whoa, I like that. That looks pretty cool. 
think I might need to go in with my brush to just get in those areas near the top. I think I'm gonna need more as well. Now I'm just going to cure that. Okay, so after that's cured, um, I'm just gonna go over it with I'm just gonna go over it with this sparkly blue colour. Um just because um from the Instagram videos I've been watching, they file over it and then it will reveal the kind of goldish lines underneath so I want to see if I'm kind of going for that look you could just leave it with the gold like that but um, I think it looks a bit more interesting with three layers so that's what I'm gonna try so let me know if you've tried these nails down in the comments or if you want to try these um, I think they look really cool okay so now once that is done I'm just going to put some um, bit of tissue underneath and I'm just gonna file um, over that but before I do that I'm just going to wipe off the sticky layer I've just got some acetone lying around so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna file and see what it looks like Okay, so I've just finished filing that and I don't know what it looks like yet. I, I'm just going to wipe away any dust, but that looks pretty cool already. What it looks like, I'm just going to go over around the edges with my hand file just to fix up any edges really, really quick. So that's done and I'm just going to top coat that just because I want to see what it looks like. Just really curious. Um, I don't know if I should be like encapsulating this or anything but we'll see. Whoa that looks cool. I like that but I feel like I didn't add enough um, enough on the as the base layer i feel like i should have added more but that looks pretty cool and that was pretty quick as well i did that all in about 10 minutes um so it's not that long actually in my opinion anyway so what do you guys think let me know down below um i'm just gonna cure that and then carry on doing the other nails now Okay, so the next color combination that I want to try is a purple one, just because purple is my favorite color. Okay, so I've put on some purple and some clear, and I'm just gonna mix that again like I did before. And this time I'm gonna try to make this layer a bit thicker. Let off, super easy to pull off. And I like, I feel like this one did come out a bit better. So again, I'm just gonna do the same thing and quickly just trim the excess stuff off real quick. And I'm just gonna go with this one from Born Pretty. 
and I'm just going to basically rub that on. I'm going to use my finger because I feel like that's it gives the best result like that. So I'm going to take that and just rub it on there. Um, Okay, now that's on there, I'm going to go over with a different colour this time. I'm going to go over with some orange, I'm just going to go over that like this. Whoa, this looks cool, I like this colour combo. I really like that. Well, I really like that. Okay, I'm gonna cure it and then I'll see what it looks like. Okay, so for the next one, I want to do a blue one, a light blue one. Um, so again, just gonna just placing some of that on my resin plate, adding some top coat. I'm just giving that a mix. And now just placing that on the nail. There's no need to be neat with this. Of course, don't get it on the skin or if you're using a practice hand like me, try not to get it on there. Um, well, I, I just got it on there, okay. And just put that on quite thick. I know in the beginning I said put it on quite thin, but um, I don't know, I feel like it's working better when it's thicker. That one compared to that one already. Just getting my plastic wrap and just placing that on there. I'm going to try using my nails for this one as opposed to this, the, um, the um, what is it called? The end of my wax pencil. Okay, and let's cure that one. Okay, now that that is done, I'm going to remove that plastic. Ooh. Same thing again, just trimming off that excess stuff. Now I'm just going to go over that with just a pink um, gel polish that I have. I'm just going to go over with pink. And I'm not mixing this one with um, top coat or anything I'm just going straight over let's see how that one looks now I'm just curing that Okay, now that's done, I'm gonna go over again with the blue, um, just because I want to try this this kind of this type again, but with but just try to do it a bit better. So I'm just gonna roughly go over that. Okay, now that that is done, I'm going to move on to the last one. And for the last one, I wanted to do, I wanted to do something yellow and black. So here, I'm just gonna paint on some yellow. I'm gonna use more than that. Um, if you're wondering where I got these tips from, they are from Amazon. Um, and they work great. By the way, I've been, I realized I've used this one, 
I'm about to use this one again and it's like fine to reuse them um, in my opinion um, as long as the plastic is thin and clear then the gel will cure and you'll be able to create a school effect with it so again just using my nail I feel like using my nail gives a gives off a better effect so that's done and I'm just gonna cure that now okay now I'm just gonna go over the yellow nail with a bit of black and see how that goes I love black and yellow mixed together as a combination um, I just think it looks really nice let's just put that on and see what that looks like I'm really I'm really curious to see what they all look like after I filed them um, so I'm gonna go over it with some green Um, this one has to be my favorite um, I love it I feel like they just look really cool I'm just using that same top coat that I used to whoa that looks so cool that I used to do these nails so let me know your thoughts down in the comments I really like how these turned out, especially this one. So I would say if you're going to do these, um, don't worry about not having the plastic wrap. As long as you use something thin and clear, it will still work. Um, and I would say make the first layer of your nails. Um, don't make it thin, make it pretty thick actually. Because this one I feel like would have looked amazing with a darker background, but it still looks amazing. Um, but this one and this one absolutely love this one more and try not to over file like me like I did on this one I over filed a little bit but the effect it's given off it's still super cool so let me know what you guys think down below let me know which one was your favorite and why have you tried this technique um, will you be trying it I will be posting these on my Instagram as well so do check those out there and I want to thank you guys, you guys for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel. I'm really trying to create great content for you guys and increase my subscribers. And I've been really grateful for reaching 100. I know it's not a lot, but um, to me it's like um, a small milestone. 
and I feel really grateful for everyone who has commented, subscribed and liked. So please don't forget to like and comment and obviously subscribe if you enjoyed this video or gain any value from any of my other videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys! I can't live without you